this is the basic setup for the experiment. We've got a little device over here, it's called a crony, and what it's going to do is it's measure the time it takes for an object to go between these two gates that you see here, the two vertical gates. And it'll read us a speed on the front of the dial over here. This is your piece of wood with a uh, ruler on it and rubber band attached to the tip of it. And it's going to be stacked up on some pieces of wood to make it level. And that is the paper airplane that you're using, but you need to prep the paper airplane with a paper clip. So you take the paper airplane, you're going to take the paper clip and open it up just a little bit. And then what you're going to do is punch a little hole in the airplane. So now underneath there is a little hook. And it's not quite all the way up, but it's, it's more than halfway up on the paper airplane. You don't want it too far back, you want it up so that it's actually pulling the plane forward. Otherwise it'll push and the plane will wobble in the air. So you want it forward on the plane. Now to hold it in place, it's not enough here to hold it in place. So what I've got to do is take a piece of tape and tape it. Otherwise, the hole will rip very quickly on the plane. And there we go. Now it's taken underneath there, so the rubber band will go right here so we can pull it back and shoot it. At this point, the chronograph is on. It's already to take measurements. So and there's a little on switch down here if you don't know where that is. So you can turn it on, and there's a readout right here so you can get the reading. It's covered up at the moment. My stick is resting on the wood, and the tip of it's resting on top of the chronograph, but it's not covering the opening where the light's going to come from. So the light's coming from up here and then down into that opening. And what I'm going to do is I'll take my plane, hook it on the rubber band, and I'll pull it back whatever the required distance is. And I'll try to aim it straight through the chronograph. Once it's the distance, I'll let it go. And the chronograph will give me a reading on the front of it. So that reading is right there on the front of the chronograph. And now what I need to do is I need to take that and convert it over into meters per second because that's feet per second. If the crony gives you an error, it's going to say ERR and a number. And so that's going to be the kind of error it is. So you've got to troubleshoot what that error is going to be. It'll appear right on the screen. To troubleshoot it, what you'll need is you need this piece of paper that says troubleshooting the crony. And read down here what the errors are and make a correction and then try to, to launch your paper airplane again.